Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sahar. Today we will be trying on some e.l.f. products and the new Cookies and Dream e.l.f. collection. So this here is the Cookies and Dreams Just the Cream Putty Primer. As you all know by now, the putty primer, I do have a video reviewing the put putty pit. So I love how they tried to make this like a cookie. I'm really curious to see how it smells though. It smells like the cream in the Oreo. You know the cream in the Oreo? Of course you do. It feels extra slippery. I do feel like it's blurred my pores. I do have some acne scarring over here and some active breakouts. Today we'll be using a new tinted foundation. I love the scent. It doesn't linger too long. I mean, right now I can't smell it. But that's a good thing because some people don't like scents in their anything. I will be trying the Tinted Hydrator by Wet n Wild. And I do have some thoughts. I will be making a separate video about that. So stay tuned, subscribe, and ring that bell. I almost hate to ruin the design of, of this beautiful, beautiful sponge. I love the sponge. Next, we're going in with a, another new thing. So we're gonna go in with some concealer. I'm using the NYX Serum Concealer. If you want to know my thoughts on this serum concealer, you're gonna have to watch my video that is coming soon. This concealer is like super light and you need so little. And I do have the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. I love this one. Okay, great. Still looks a little yellow, but do we care? I really want to try this Cookies and Dream Cookie Crumble Lip Exfoliator. I hear good things about the original one. Let's see how it feels. Oh! The exfoliator is actually pretty interesting. Let me just wipe it off. It smells like food. It smells like cream. It's not so harsh. I thought it was gonna be like super harsh and super hard, but it's not. It's actually a very gentle scrub, and I actually like how my lips feel afterwards. Now we're gonna using the e.l.f. Wow Brow, which was my favorite for a while, until I met a certain Maybelline Sculpt Brow and a certain NYX brow product that I'll be mentioning in my next video. So what do we do? Like, subscribe, ring the bell. This is the e.l.f. Cookies and Dream Snow Budge Eyeshadow Stick. I like the white one because the eyeshadow is pretty like light and I'm curious to like see if I put this underneath my eyeshadow, will anything happen? Will it make the eyeshadow pop a little bit more? So when I put this in, it is creamy. But then when you try to blend it out, you have to like press a little bit harder. I do like it. I do how, like how white it is. If you need a white eyeliner, you can definitely draw on your face with this. That's how pigmented this is. So it's a good, good. I like this one. Now we're going to try the Wet n Wild Cookies and Dreams eyeshadow palette. There are no shade names. We're going to go with the brown one first as a transition. You can tell it's pretty powdery. Um, I have, I'm getting a lot of fallout. You see that? I don't really mind fallout as long as I can flick it out with my like fluffy brush and it doesn't streak on my face. I'm fine with that. I really want to try this beautiful blue shade over here. I have used it before. See that? So much compared to this. The white base really makes it pop. Okay, I'm gonna go in with brown shade over here just to darken that outer corner. As I usually do, I'm gonna put this blue on with my fingers. It's a beautiful blue shade. Let me just blend that. We'll take another brush and we're gonna get some of this, this shade over here, the corner shade that's like super nice and uh, shimmery. We're gonna put that on top. And then I'm gonna take some of this dark shade. Like It's like a black, almost like a midnight blue. And just kind of wing out my... And I'll grab a smaller brush and just... Now we're going to try two different lip glosses. The first is the black one. I bought this because I was so curious to see what it was about. And the other one is the blue one, which I'm really excited to try. So we'll try the black one first, just to see how it affects my lips at all. 
I feel like it makes it just darker or something. It actually looks really nice and juicy. Look at that. So this one I'm excited for because I really like... I feel like it's not really going to do anything. But it looks so nice. No matter how thick I make it, there's just... It, it just looks like I have clear gloss on. Yeah, it's clear gloss. Okay, so this is the final look. I really, really like that lilac um, color. It's very nice and striking, especially with that white, like, stick um, eyeshadow. And unfortunately, my lash glue froze on me because of the winter. So I wasn't able to put lashes, so I'm sorry. Final thoughts on the um, e.l.f. Cookies and Dream collection. The primer, honestly, I don't know. I just, I don't think it's something that I've ever really enjoyed. And this primer is just, it's no different. It's the same primer, just has a different scent, different packaging. And I just, I can't, I don't really see myself using this in the future. I do have an e.l.f. primer that I much prefer and I see much more results with that I will be mentioning in a future video. So what do we do? Like, subscribe, ring that bell. The sponge, we already know. I love this. It's so nice and soft. It doesn't really absorb that much product. I like it. It's a nice sponge. It looks nice. I'll probably get another one just because I like it so much. The lip exfoliator is a big surprise. I've always wanted to try them, um, the original, and I'm just so glad that I actually got the Cookies and Dream one. I would like to repurchase this again. I'm pretty sure I will prefer this over the original one. Um, and I'm really excited to use this every single time I do my like lip anything. I'm going to be using this. It's a nice gentle exfoliation, not like a harsh one. And I feel like my lips are smoother but not like overly smooth where I know I kind of rip my lips apart. So I'm really happy about about this one the no budge eyeshadow stick i like it because it's super pigmented especially for white and i've never really been an eyeshadow stick kind of person but i do like how if you if you notice in the video i put it on and then i put like the lilac shade on and it really made the colors pop so much brighter so much more so i'm very excited to use this the lip glosses the blue one didn't really give me much difference at all it just looks like i have a clear gloss on my lips but the black one kind of gives me that darker kind of more moody color which i kind of like because um, it's not too dark they're not super sticky and they do feel nice and hydrating on the lips. I do like the Maybelline lip gloss lifter glosses or something a bit more just because of how this is packaged. So when you take it out, there's so little product that comes out of the tube. And I feel like I have to constantly dip, constantly dip just to get some more product on my lips. Finally, we're going on to our Cookies and Dreams e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. I love the eyeshadow palette. The thing is, I'm just not a blue kind of girl. I like browns. I like warm tones. I like, you know, those kinds of colors, neutral colors. And this is a very colorful palette. I will be keeping this because I don't have any. I threw away so many of my palettes. I don't have blue anymore. And I do like this. For the price, the white is so pigmented. This color, especially under like concealer or an eyeshadow base or like the white stick, is very nice the only color i've actually really had trouble with is the darker shades like this one this is nice but then it gets a little patchy over here on the sides when i try to blend them out it's the second time i use this palette so i can't really say for certain if it's me or if it's the palette or maybe it's because of i don't know but everything else seems to work fine it does have a bunch of fallout as you saw in the video but it's easy to flick out and it's just such a great quality palette for the price that you're buying this for. I do like it and I do recommend this one as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and what did I miss? And ring that bell if you want to be notified for future videos. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Mm, I dropped it. It broke. It flipped and fell on my jacket. I didn't think it would break, but oh well. Such is life. Clad skies and countryside, it all comes flooding back to me.